Stronzer, the founder of Belcanto Design Limited. Belcanto, well, initially it was me. It's a small group of dedicated uh, music lovers, some who are audiophiles, some who aren't, who uh, design, produce, and, and sell audio equipment into the high-end audio market. We started, actually I started, our first amplifier product was a single-ended triode 845 amp that weighed like 80 pounds and produced 20 watts. Around 2000, we, uh, I decided that was a technological dead end and we decided to uh, start working on Class D amplification. I started doing, uh, actually in the, the mid-80s, I designed a single-ended triode for myself. So for about 15 years, I just listened to single-ended triode amplifiers, which you would think is the diametric opposite of a Class D amplifier in many ways. But what I found with the single-ended triodes was a, a presence in the information coming through the mid-range and a, uh, an ability to preserve very low-level information in the presence of, of high-level information, so good dynamic range capability, and a very, a very natural, and, a, and I guess presence is the right word, um, that, that the, the, the performer is present in the sound field in front of you as you listen. And that occurred with the single triodes in, in, in abundance. When I first heard my first Class D, I, I could hear weaknesses in both the bass, and we're getting back to bass and treble, but uh, things weren't quite right everywhere, but there still was a, a presence in the mid-range that really came through with the Class D. And I, I kind of put that down to the efficiency of the output stage. Uh, because it's so efficient, you don't have the subtle thermal modulation issues. I'm, gonna get, I'm getting a little technical here. But you don't have some of the issues that still plague uh, traditional Class AB uh, linear amplifiers today that don't exist in the Class D and don't exist in something like a single-ended triode either. Now what's happened in the, oh, nearly 20 years since we started to first work with Class D is those weaknesses I initially heard in noise floor, uh, bass performance, treble, clarity, and distortion, those issues have totally dropped away. Our latest technology uh, using the, uh, the, the Encore technology, mainly for, it's just really as an output uh, power buffer in a way, it's a low gain output stage. We provide most of the, the analog gain in the amplifier system, and so we, we, that gives us a chance to voice it, if you will, to, to put our own stamp on the amplifier's performance. These latest modules have, vanishingly low noise floor, literally, um, almost unmeasurable. Um, they have extremely low distortion, uh, and they have no thermal modulation issues. Uh, they're extremely efficient, and they deliver power. And in a way, I think of these Encore devices as the 21st century 845 triode. They really give me a uh, an ideal amplification device for audio that lets me surround it with my own vision of what the product should do. A few years ago, I started doing uh, live music recordings in a, in a very high quality uh, acoustic venue in the Minneapolis area, actually at a, at a uh, music school in the Minneapolis area, McPhail. And um, that experience taught me a lot. Uh, it was, I would do very simple, two mic recordings with a uh, quality uh, digital recorder, a pair of uh, Grado microphones, which are amazing uh, microphones for this application. And I would listen to them while I was recording with a pair of uh, decent headphones direct from the recorder. And then I would take them home to my high-end audio rig, play them back, and realize I was missing a lot from the original recording because I did the recording. I heard it both acoustic and through the monitor uh, headphones. And that got me to thinking, okay, I need to engineer the system to get out of the way of the original recording because I want to hear what the original recording sounded like. So that was kind of the, the, imp the impetus behind the design of the Big Black system was to engineer that system, no holds barred, to allow all of that original signal through unencumbered, undistorted, no added noise, no added 
nastiness uh, that would, would, would detract from the original event. Bel Canto, today I would say all of our products are very 21st century, uh, very advanced technology, frankly. Um, uh, recently we have been focusing mainly uh, a lot on high levels of integration. It actually started, oh, 10 plus years ago with our C5i and the E1 line, a highly integrated power DAC concept, if you will. Uh, we were maybe a little ahead of our time with that, but it's still a valid product today, or because of that, it is still a valid product today. Uh, our newest product line, uh, the E1X, is sitting up here. This is a fully integrated unit, including amplification, streaming, moving magnet, moving coil, uh, phono preamplifier, analog inputs, uh, traditional digital inputs. It does everything basically in one box, a couple hundred watts a channel, real powerhouse.